The Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS720 Gold is a unique power supply that could be the future of power supplies. With a price of around 150 US dollars, this power supply is certainly not cheap. However, it has a different modular cable system and an internal construction that is on par with the high-end units offered by Seasonic. And in this review, we will see what makes the Synchro Connect DGS720 Gold so unique. The Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold was originally bundled with the Seasonic Synchro case, but now can be bought as a standalone unit. What separates this power supply from other models is the unique modular cable system, simply called Seasonic Connect. From a design standpoint, this power supply looks almost the same as the Seasonic Prime series. The front part of the power supply has a chromed grille with an elongated honeycomb pattern cut into its surface. The fan and fan shroud are held in place with four medium-sized hex screws. Do not mess with these as you might misalign the fan in the process. On the modular cable side, it's not much to talk about, as we do not have any modular cables. Instead, a single, larger cable is installed here, almost like a non-modular power supply. This cable will link to the connect module, which will then connect to the system cables, but more on the connect module later in the review. The backside of the power supply has the same elongated honeycomb pattern acting as the main exhaust vent of the power supply. On this side we have the power cable adapter and the hybrid fan control switch. Finally, we have the on and off switch of the power supply. The sides of the casing are identical in shape with the casing of the Prime series. There are gaps cut into the metal casing that will help with the airflow of the power supply. Given that there is a single 135mm actively cooling the internal components of the power supply, these side cutouts will act as exhaust vents. The connect module is simple and it acts as a distribution plate for the modular cables. The idea behind it is that you will only have one cable going from the power supply to the connect module and then select which cables your system requires. It's a great system that will ease the installation of this power supply and the cable management. Speaking of the cables, all of them are black and the flat ribbon style. They are flexible and easy to route around the case as you can stack them. The only differences between these cables and the regular Seasonic flat cables is that these are designed to fit with the connect modules and thus some variations will exist between the regular cables and the connect cables. But don't quote me on that. When we talk about accessories, this being a high Seasonic power supply means that you will get a lot for your money. Included, you have a user manual, a case badge, 5 velcro straps, 11 zip ties, 2 sets of 4 screws for installing the power supply and the connect modules, and the power AC cable plus a basic chamber. Taking apart this power supply is as easy as taking apart any power supply, which is why you should not do it. You have no business inside the power supply, especially one that has been used in the past. Not only will you void your warranty, but will take a chance with your life as well. Inside, we have the usual Seasonic made platform. We start with the fan. It's a 135mm fan made by Honhua and has the model number HA 13525H12F-Z. This is a fluid dynamic bearing fan and has a maximum rated speed of 2000 RPM with a hybrid fan control mode. The internal construction is good and on par with the rest of the Seasonic Prime series, at least the gold rated units. Speaking of which, this power supply uses a modified Seasonic Prime gold unit which is based on the Focus platform. The filtering starts at the back with a few Y capacitors installed on a separate PCB. The main bulk capacitor is made by Nichicon and has a maximum operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius. The APFC MOSFETs are made by Infineon and in front of them we have a single ST microelectronics boost diode. Next to the MOSFETs there is the bypass relay of the power supply which is made by Hongfa and has the model number HF46F-G. The PWM controller of this unit is made by Excellence Amos Corp and has the model number EM8569. The passive cooling is done by no less than 5 aluminum made heat sinks, each placed next or right on a crucial component that requires direct cooling. Testing the power supply is a complex job that requires industrial grade equipment, however, that does not mean that it cannot be done with a regular system. The testing system uses an Intel i9-9900K CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and an RTX 2070 Super graphics card. The whole system has a power draw of 500 watts and should be enough to test the reviewed power supply. 
We start with the efficiency, and we have great news as the Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold reached an average efficiency of 91.4%, with a load of 500 watts. This places this power supply next to the Seasonic SGS650 Gold, which makes sense as both units are gold rated for efficiency. Testing of voltage oscillation is done using a multimeter which is connected to one of the cables of the power supply. Each measurement is taken while the power supply is loaded by the system, in the case of our review, a total load of 500 watts. And in this test we can see minimum oscillations on the 12 volts and the 3.3 volts rail. Again, testament to the build quality and components used inside the power supply. If you are concerned about the noise, as in how loud the fan of this power supply is, well, you should be. Not only is the fan control system a complex one, but it makes the fan either not spin at all during idle times or spin at maximum RPM, even though the fan itself has a wide high speed range. Hence why the maximum noise output of the Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold is 41 dB with a measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the power supply. I see no reason why such an aggressive fan profile is being used, especially since this power supply is using high quality components and it should last a long time even with the lower airflow inside. The Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold is an interesting power supply. It uses a one-of-a-kind modular cable system that might be the future. However, we are reviewing the power supply and not really the cable systems. And when it comes to the power supply, all is well with a good efficiency and low voltage oscillations across the board. In addition, the internal construction is great and on the same level as the Focus series. The drawback of this power supply is the noise, as the 135mm fan will spin at close to its maximum speed even with the medium load placed on the power supply, a thing which shouldn't happen, especially with such an exquisite power supply. The Synchro Connect modular system is interesting, it's easy to use and frees up space inside the power supply, thus you don't need a powerful fan spinning at close to maximum RPM all the time. The Connect system will help somewhat with the cable management, as it is a clean solution to route the cables from the power supply to the case, and afterwards you choose which cables you need and where they go. If you want to use the Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold, you need to do your homework. First, your case needs to support the Synchro Connect module, and by this I mean that you need a case that has enough space for the module. Second, you need to understand that while not overly loud, this power supply is not quiet, especially at a load level close and over 500 watts. If you have these two things sorted out, then the Seasonic Synchro Connect DGS750 Gold can be a good choice for your system. It will handle the power draw and make the cabin management an easy process. This power supply is also backed by no less than 10 years of warranty, so it should last you a long time. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.